Lee Driver and Sam Smith, thank you all for being here. I'm so thank happy you. that you could find the time to come down for us. Uh, Minnie, has, has anyone ever blown your mind like Lior just did? I mean, we, it's all we've been talking about the whole break. No, it was bananas. It was really, really, really... I would watch that musical. Mm. I would pay 157 <laughs> quid to see that musical. Yeah, as soon as we went to break, he looked at uh, Sam. <laughs> do, do, do you want to tell them what Leo, Leo did when he t said to you? Yeah, um, my first ever crush when I was six years old. He asked me to remember the name. I haven't told anyone this. And then he asked me who it said it was Luke. Yeah. Is the name, and he got it right. Wow. He went. When I was talking to Minnie, uh, you were thinking of someone, and you were thinking of Luke. And yeah. Sam's like, I'm dead. It was crazy. I've, never, I've yeah. never even told Luke. I've never told no one. <laughs> well, we've got news for you, Sam. We've tracked <laughs> oh, Luke down. No. <laughs> no. Not today. <laughs> now, Sam, I want to congratulate you. You just turned 30. Oh, How do you me. feel? How did you celebrate? <laughs> Are you looking forward to this moment in your life? How do you feel, the big 3-0? I feel great. I'm, I'm enjoying... I want to get old like a fine wine. Mm. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I'm excited. Yeah. I, I had a great time. I... I basically threw myself a wedding. Oh, that's a just great for idea. Myself. Yeah, was it just your, myself. Was it like yeah. your, it was really your young you married your older you? No, it was just me by myself in oh, white. <laughs> <laughs> and, and guess, hang on, you weren't yeah, completely by yourself. You had friends there. Yeah, yeah friends. Right, family. I was going to say, otherwise yeah. this takes a turn if it really is you on your own. <laughs> just no and what group. did you do? You had a big party. A big, I went, yeah, I was really like, I went to Italy and I just had drank wine and swam in the river. Oh. <laughs> it was really good. It was and you're really looking nice. forward to this next period of your of your life. I think it's going to be exceptional for you. Yeah. The thirties, I can feel it. But should I tell you someone who never ages? Mm. That is John Boyega's <laughs> waxwork figure. <laughs> oh, that right. Madame Two Swords. Look <laughs> at oh, this, guys. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> you must be thrilled with this. How do you How do you feel? I mean. It's a, it's a real honour. It's also a brilliant one. What do, you, what do your friends, what do your family make of this? We actually um, had a get-together. Madame Two Souls was so great to bring everybody over. And, um, yeah, they were shocked. I mean, my sisters always say that the back of my head has always been big. Um, <laughs> and I really, really took that in in seeing that with the wax figure. Um, you know, you never get that perspective. You never stand behind yourself. That's um, true. So in doing that, I was just like, wow, the head is tonk. But we thank God. <laughs> <laughs> It's amazing. I, I appreciate the opportunity and the, and the honour. It's just, it's just crazy. I, I didn't expect that, to be honest. It's an amazing thing, and you can go down to Madame Two Swords in London and see that. Now, Sam, you're performing later with someone I am becoming a huge fan of, with Cat Burns. So I've watched a rehearsal before. It's absolutely brilliant. Your music has helped, I'm certain, many people in this room and many people around the world, has helped many, many millions of people through breakups. I think that's a fact. Minnie, do you have a breakup song? Well, I mean, it depends if you want to be really, really sad or, mm. or feel better. Because <laughs> if you want to feel really, really bad, you just put on Blue, anything off Blue by Joni Mitchell, and you'll, oh you'll never get better. Yeah. And then if you want to feel better, you put on Uptown Top Ranking by Althea and Donna, which is arguably the happiest song ever written. It cheers you up. About a breakup. Mm, yeah. What about you, John? You got a breakup song in your locker? I'm the same as you. It figures you got to split them up. If it's a harsh breakup, we go for Usher's Let It Burn. Mm. Oh, oh, my God, great. We want to forget. That is a great shout. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but then if we want to, you know, improve our lives and, and we want hope, we want to connect, we go for Sam Smith's, you know, Stay With Me. Oh. oh. Yeah. Good tune. Yeah. What about you, Sam? I mean, what do you... It's quite hard when you're one of the best songwriters of your generation. No. Well, who do you turn to in moments of heartache? Celine Dion. Of course you do. <laughs> Go on, yeah. but which, think twice. Drama, drama, drama. It has to be, uh, it's all coming back to me now. Oh. Full drama. That is the oh. absolute yeah. greatest. It's, there is, there's a moment in that song where it turns and it, you, you can raise anybody. What's the bit where he goes, um, it's all coming back, it's all coming back to me now. Okay. Is it, what's, how's it going? What have you got? Beautiful. Oh, look. Hey, what? Hey, what? Hey, what?